Well, tonight there's opposition to upcoming events celebrating Pride Month in Mobile. This Friday night at the Loda Art Walk, there will be a Pride Parade and a drag show at Cathedral Square. Organizers say the event is appropriate. But today, five people signed up to speak against it at the city council meeting. Exposing children to drag queens normalizes the fetish. Today, Mobile City leaders heard from opponents of Friday's planned Pride events in downtown Mobile. It's just concerning to me as a Christian to have the city actively promoting something that goes so contrary to the word of God and what Christians historically have believed. Cloverleaf Baptist Church pastor Sam Sinclair says promotion like this that's been shared on social media with the city logo and providing details about the Pride Parade, Drag Show and Kid Zone. What we are saying is the solution to this is not societal celebration of sin, but it is divine forgiveness of sin. We're not promoting anything other than the freedom to be yourself. Chance Shaw is the executive director of Rainbow Pride of Mobile, one of the groups organizing Friday's events. He says it's designed to be family friendly. I would say come out and see what it's actually about. Um, just because something is a drag show doesn't mean it's inherently lewd or inappropriate. Um, and we've gone through in the, the past few years, made many um, attempts to make sure that our shows are public appropriate and child friendly. There was similar opposition to Fairhope's Pride events this past weekend, with people speaking against it at the city's council meeting. And you ought to all attend the event dressed up like a drag queen if it's that important to this town. Shaw says it's concerning to see the growing public outcry against the LGBTQ community. We've definitely seen people emboldened by um, some of the words of people on national on the national stage. To clarify the city's role, a spokesperson for Mobile said today in a statement, quote, the city of Mobile provides support for public safety and trash pickup for every monthly art walk, as well as dozens of other downtown events each year. The city is not providing funds for any particular program or organization at Friday's art walk.